Hello everyone, Ovi here, welcome to Artified Optimist. Now today we're going to be talking about a very important topic. I consider this topic very important because it's special to me. You know, I love the arts and um, whenever I get the opportunity to talk about the arts, I really want to talk about it and talk about it real well. Now. As a creative person, one of those things you should do as a creative writer or as a creative uh, producer or craftsman, whenever you create your work, it's essential that you go through a certain amount of um, registrations and application for rights. One of those rights you should uh, apply for or register for is copyrights. Okay? copyright now in this video we're going to be talking a whole lot about copyrights what it is what constitutes copyright what does copyright protect uh what body to register with register your work with as copyright how much to pay and uh for now we're limiting this to nigeria maybe with uh time subsequent uh, videos we can spread this to other countries but for now we're looking at nigeria okay so just a quick one we're going to be looking at what really is copyright now before i go into that let me just quickly say that um the body responsible for granting copyrights you know or for enforcing copyrights in nigeria is uh, the Nigeria Copyright Commission and uh, the statute or the law or the major law, major statute that governs the administration of uh, copyright in Nigeria is the Copyright Act, CAP C28, Laws of the Federation 2004. Uh, before I tell you what uh, the NCC that the Nigeria uh, Copyright Commission views as copyright. Let's quickly look at let's quickly look at uh, a dictionary definition of uh, copyright and uh, see what the secular world views as uh, copyright. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly type into my computer and whip out my dictionary and read out what copyright means to us so let's see what that is okay so we have um four definitions here i'm reading from the best dictionary two of them function as nouns the other two function as verbs okay so for the first definition of a noun it says copyright is the right by law to be the entity which determines who may publish copy and distribute a piece of writing music picture or other work of authorship you know uh, definition two for a noun says uh, such an exclusive right that's the right we mentioned the first time such an exclusive right as it pertains to one or more specific works okay so as a verb it means to place under a copyright then the second verb definition says to obtain or secure a copyright for some literary or other artistic work now, i'd like you to pay attention to the use of the word literary and artistic because that will form one of the pivotal points for this discussion copyright now let's head back to um Let's head back to NCC. What NCC views as copyright. Okay, so um, let's just read. Um, according to NCC, or before I read, uh, or should I just? Okay, let me just read that. So according to S NCC, copyright is the exclusive right granted by a statute to an author. And it's stated here, according to NCC, that an author is an artist, a writer, 
a publisher, a musician, a performer, a photographer, an architect, a filmmaker, and a sculptor. So that's what NCC sees as an author. So let me rewind a little bit. So copyright is the exclusive right granted by a statute to an author of certain works to control the doings of some acts in relation to the work. So from what I can glean from all these definition, definitions is that uh, copyright is the sole right administered or given to a person who creates a particular work. Okay? All right. So, um, so in all this, what actually is the focus of NCC in administering all of this? Now, I'm going to read a quote from uh, the website of NCC, and it states that the primary focus of the commission, that is NCC, is to achieve more efficiency in service delivery and to provide needed support for all creative industries. To this end, we are working with various stakeholders and partners to fully harness the potentials of creativity for national development. All right, so you heard that. The primary focus of the commission is to achieve, achieve more efficiency in service delivery and to provide needed support for all creative industries. So creativity cuts across a whole lot of industries. Creativity is wide. That's why copyright is not limited to musicians. A lot of times when we talk about copyright, people want to tend to limit it to music. It's not limited to music. It covers a whole lot of other areas, all right? So long as it deals with creativity, you can uh, copyright whatever you create, all right? It even extends as far as to businesses and some other areas that you might not even think about. Now, let me read something else from the website of NCC. And it states that, um, so just before I go on, NCC is uh, the body administered with the responsibility of, uh, uh, of um, you know, giving copyrights to individuals or to entities or to bodies or to organizations, okay? So it says that as a government agency responsible for all copyright matters in Nigeria, implied ma mandates in other related issues the nigerian commission the niger i beg your pardon the nigerian copyright commission is pleased to have you and welcome you to explore this virtual window to nigerian creativity so what this simply tells us is that uh application for copyrights in nigeria has been simplified now because you can do that online now okay so you can do registrations online now, as, as we progress in this video, we're going to look at the modes through which we can um, apply for copyright in Nigeria. So, what I intend to do is we're going to be going through certain questions, frequently asked questions about copyrights in Nigeria, and we'll do our possible best to uh, provide answers to those questions. So, the first question is uh, what is copyright? That we already handled. So we've laid the foundation for this discussion. We already know what um, what copyright is. So it's simply the exclusive right granted by statute or by law to an author, okay, of a certain works to control the doings of some acts in relation to the work, okay. And the next question is, what does copyright protect? Now this is a big one. Copyright protects original creations. Take note, original creations. So for any work to enjoy copyright, first of all, it has to be original. Originality is key. You know, reminds me of Faze's song back in the day. Originality, I guess ability. So you see, copyright has to be, for there to be copyright, the work has to be original. Originality means you are the first and only person that has created and registered that same work okay all right so it says copyright protects original creations in the literary and artistic fields take note of that okay protects work in the literary and artistic field. we're going to find out what literary is and what artistic fields you know are so 
he then goes on to say which are fixed in medium form they are fixed in a, sorry they are fixed in a medium from which they can be reproduced or otherwise communicated let me read that again just in case you got it mixed up so copyright protects original creations in the literary and artistic fields which are fixed in medium from which they can be reproduced or otherwise communicated so for a work to enjoy copyright or to be protected under copyright one it has to be an original creation okay in either of the fields of literary or artistic field you know and it has to be fixed in a medium you know from which they can be reproduced or otherwise communicated so when we look at let's look at it this way um if i write a song that has never been written before that's an original creation now i'm putting it down on a script right or on a paper or on a musical notation that's the medium from that medium i can actually reproduce it or communicate it to someone else that's the first step towards um having my copyright for that work okay so our definition says that our answer says that um the original creations must be should be in the literary or the artistic field so what is literary field or literary works these include novels stories poetical works plays computer programs letters encyclopedias law reports etc what i can get from this is that the literary works cover works that are written pen to paper you know those are literary and uh, artistic works include paintings drawings maps plans woodworks you know works of arch architecture sculpture craftsmanship so at artistic works here simply represent works that are crafted with your hands you know this time they're not written but they're crafted some kind of craft using your hands okay so that's why you have paintings and drawings and maps and architecture and all of that a whole lot so i believe pottery will come here too you know the making of pots from clay you know and uh maybe um what do you call this art of um of working with iron and making them into shapes to form swords and knives and all that uh is it um smith i think yeah goldsmith i think all of that will come here you know so on that we also have musical works this can also come under the protection of uh, copyright musical works and these can include musical notations and compositions all right films also enjoy protection from copyright sound recordings and broadcast all of these enjoy protection from copyright now take note of this guys this is a big one <clears throat> excuse me take note of this one titles ideas concepts procedures methods or things of similar nature are not protected by copyright i repeat titles ideas concepts procedures methods or things of similar nature are not pr protected by copyright so guys the fact that you have an idea doesn't grant you exclusive right to that idea because it's still abstract it's still an idea in your head you haven't put it down in a medium and you haven't gone to ncc to register it so you cannot claim rights over that all right on the other hand if you have an idea and you've given it a title that's still not enough titles do not constitute copyright neither do concepts or procedures or methods or things of similar nature these don't constitute copyright so first of all your your creation has to be original you put it in a medium okay those are the first two steps then we're going to read on to find out what next we can do to make our copyright you know journey complete all right okay next question does my work have to be protected does i take that again does my work have to be published to be protected now the answer to that is publication is not necessary for copyright protection guys take this serious your works don't have to be published first before you can apply for uh, copyright okay 
So let's be wise in our age. Once you get an idea and you see that this idea is original, you've checked with NCC and you see that nobody has ever registered this idea, the next thing you should do is go secure it. It's like buying a piece of land. Go get the land, get your C of O, make sure it's registered under your name. So it can be kept exclusively exclusively for you until you're ready to develop it or you're ready with funds to take that idea to the next level. Now, guess what? Just from what we read that similar ideas do not constitute copyright. You know, we're humans and uh, we are social beings. We interact. So we can have similar ideas at the same or different times. Okay. So I could have one idea. Somebody else in another part of the world or in another part of the country can have similar ideas. If I'm not smart enough to go and register that idea and tag it down to my name, somebody else somewhere might do it and they get ownership over that idea. And when I bring it out finally, I have infringed on someone's copyright. So you see why it's risky to have an idea and sit with it and think that uh, you're the only one who has that idea. Uh-uh. So be smart, guys. Okay. Now, looking at this just reminds me of... Um, the recent issue that's been going on between Sarah, Dr. Vito Waifu and uh, Simi Sola, the artist, the female artist that we all know as um, Simi. You know, I think it, it's, it, everyone should be aware that Simi and Dr. Waifu have two separate songs, but they have the same titles. So, Sir, the legendary Waifu is suing Simi for copyright infringement. He believes that Simi stole his idea, you know, by giving the title Jeremy to her song. Now, but I've, I've taken a critical look at both songs and I've, I've found out that um, there isn't much of a similarity or much of similarity between both songs. In terms of lyrics, both songs are different. In terms of delivery style, both songs are different. In terms of production, both that both songs are different. In terms of uh, instrumentation, they are both different. You know, and in every other era, the only similarity I can see is in the titles. And from what we read here, titles do not constitute or do not come under the protection of copyright. Guys, what do you think? Hit me in the comment section if you have a, a different view from what I'm trying to interpret from um, uh, what NCC is telling us, okay? All right, so let's move on. Does my work have to be published to be protected? Now, publication is not necessary for, co for copyright protection. Okay, I think I said that before. So, um, the moment, I think the moment you write your song, you own some amount of uh, ownership to that song. But it's not entirely yours yet until you go and copyright it. Okay. So the next question is, can I register a work online? Yes. Thank God for NCC that has come up with um, uh, the online registration platform known as the Nigerian Copyright E-Registration System. With this, from the comfort of your home, you can actually apply online, pay the fees, and um, get your work copyrighted. Did I say pay the fees? Yes, there's a certain amount to pay for your work to be copyrighted. We'll get to all that much more later.